What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got one of my all-time favorite subscription slash mystery boxes to open up on the channel. So you're gonna want to stick around for this one. Today's mystery box comes to us from Zobi Productions. This is their 90s volume two mystery box. And in honor of the 90s, decided to wear the Blockbuster t-shirt. Those were the days. Going and renting movies, video games, good times. But this box contains four I guess you'd say franchises from the 90s. It's going to include Forrest Gump, Power Rangers, Home Improvement, one of my all-time favorite TV shows, and Judge Dredd, the original of the remake, obviously. I believe there is an autograph pop in this box, along with maybe a t-shirt? I don't know, so we're just gonna get into it. This just showed up a couple days ago and I've been avoiding watching anybody else open this just because I want to be surprised for what's in this box. I grew up in the 90s, so this, this is my era of stuff. That makes sense. So I was super excited to get into it. Grab my handy dandy buck knife. <laughs> Oh, be some good stuff in here. La uh, yeah, so like I said, Zobi is one of uh, one of the best boxes I I believe as far as uh, for these kind of subscription slash mystery boxes. Um, there's always an autograph. Yeah, some kind of prop. So they did have a standard box, and then they had a I think they called it the XL box. So I ended up getting the XL box because uh, it did have the Funko Pop in it. I think the standard only came with a maybe an autograph, you know, 8x10. So I wanted the Pop to add to my collection. So, yeah. Let's just open it up and see. Ooh, we got some tissue paper. I don't want to look and see. Okay. All right. So put that aside. Pull this out. Tissue paper. Alright, okay, there is a pop in there. But, let's see what else we got. I don't know what this is. Stuck something. Alright, we got a... Huh, okay, huh? it's a Zobi yo-yo. Huh, take it out of there. Okay, I'm just kind of a... Yeah, just a regular... <laughs> Yo-yo, but with the Zobi logo on there. Next. Let's see. Is there a, this is the pen. Let me show you guys first. Oh, no, I won't. I lied. Looks like we got the pink Power Ranger pen. Limited to 100. Collectible pen. Okay, well, that's cool. I don't collect these pens. So most likely this will either go up for sale or trade or anybody's interested, hit me up. Okay. Next. Yeah, I don't know what's all in here. What's this? Okay, so that's the print. All right. Oh, there's some kind of... I don't know what this is. It's heavy. It's like it's in the bubble wrap. Oh, okay. It's like it's a belt buckle. Oh, nice. <laughs> So this is a Judge Dread belt buckle. Show you the back there. Nice. And that's, I mean, this is heavy. That's all metal. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, usually some kind of prop or something from the movie. That's really cool. So we got the Power Rangers. The Judge Dread. So there should still be something in here from Forrest Gump and Home Improvement. All right. We've 
got an art print. I'm going to save the pop for last. Oh, there's two things in here. Okay, let's see. I don't know what this is. Here's the first one. I'll show you first. Oh. Looks like an art print. Oh, cool. So that's a, yeah, Forrest Gump art print. Wow, that's actually really cool. Might be holding on to that. That was a fantastic movie. And wow, I am highly impressed with that. All right, there's another, I don't know if it's a picture or an art print, but I'll show you first. And it's back. There's the front. Oh, oh, looks like the boys from Home Improvement. Nice. <laughs> That's cool. Not sure which one signed it. If huh, that uh, maybe the middle or the oldest child. Was that Zach? Brad. No, Brad. I think his real name was Zach. I don't know. Well, we'll look at the cheat sheet when we're all done. That's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, that's the cheat sheet, so we'll just set that down there. And make sure there was nothing else. Oh. Oh, okay. So there was a I hope you enjoyed the second volume of your 90s box. For all the support, I included an extra gift from Team Zobi. P.S. I fully expect some trick videos. Nice. Well, thanks, Zobi. There's their little thank you card they always put in there. And then signed by... Who was this one? Yeah. J Galagos. So I think it's, yeah, that's the owner of Zobi. Cool. Thanks, man. So I don't know what the extra, maybe the yo-yo? Hmm. There ain't nothing else in this box. It's a pop. It is in bubble wrap. Oh, huh. I don't know how it's wrapped in there. Okay, here we go. It's in bubble wrap, and then it's in a soft protector. So I think that's the back. This is the front. Well, we got all the franchises, right? Forrest Gump, Power Rangers, Home Improvement, Judge Dredd. So I don't know who the pop is. <laughs> We're going to find out. Ready? And is it a signed pop? Because I got the signed Home Improvement 8x10. Well, we're going to find out. Here we go. Who we get? Oh, looks like it's a Power Ranger sign pop. We got Jason. Oh, that's cool. So it looks like oh hair on there. So yeah, so the I think this is the new pop. Is it? No. No, that's from the original Power Rangers. So it's Jason, so the actor who played him. That's pretty cool. Well, let's just check out the cheat sheet. Show you guys first, give you a quick little sneak peek. You can see that or not. All right, so as far as the art print, looks like there was three different options. I got this one. Yeah, Zachary Ty Bryant. Uh, so yeah, he was Brad Taylor. He was the oldest son on Home Improvement. But that's crazy. This one, it doesn't even show, because it shows top three as usually what you can get. But this one's completely different than those three. Let's see if I can find some other videos for people that opened them. I, I mean, I've seen them. I just haven't watched them, if that makes sense. I've seen them pop up on my recommended uh, YouTube videos, but I didn't want to open them because I didn't want to see what was in the box. That makes sense. But I'm going to see which ones they got. Uh, let's see. So the uh, Forrest Gump art print. 
Your exclusive 8x10 fan art print was inspired by Forrest Gump, designed by Shedwick Harvland. Haverland? So it looks like it was signed by the artist. See that in the corner there? Hmm. Well, that's cool. Uh, your prop replica belt buckle was inspired by Judge Dredd. That's the... I think it's heavy too. Man. And then there was two different pens you could get. One was the Pink Ranger and the other was the... What was it called? The Megazord. Uh, your exclusive enamel pen was inspired by Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Also, he actually did get the more limited one because there was only a hundred of these ones made. There was 500 of the other one. Okay, so this was the pop signed by Austin St. John. He was the Red Ranger Jason. So he signed his name and then underneath signed Jason. Um, and it looks like you had two different options, whether it was in red or white. Maybe you can catch that on there or not. But uh, we got the red one, and actually, I kind of like the red one. Okay, and then there was a couple randomly inserted bonus items. Fortunately, we did not get, but it looks like there was a couple 8x10 uh, Power Ranger photos or an exclusive fan art metal card. If you've seen any of my other Zobi unboxings, I've pulled a couple of those metal cards before. I'm not gonna probably keep the replica belt or the pin, but I bet you I could probably sell, I mean, this is like high quality. I'd probably get like 30 bucks for these two items. If I kept the rest, I mean, I've got the box for, you know, half that, $30. No, I think this box was more. I think it was more. Because normally they're 40, but you paid an extra for the signed pop. So you had two signatures in here. Okay, that makes sense. Because it was probably 40 bucks to have them sign this and then $40. So when you go to conventions, um, you know, cons anything like that even the local one like if you go back and watch my lilac uh city comic-con which was just a small little comic-con at the fairgrounds in Coeur d'Alene Idaho I had the girl who plays Rita Repulsa from Power Rangers sign my pop and that cost me twenty dollars for her to sign that there plus an additional like $10 to have um, a photo taken with her. 30 bucks for that, and that was just a small little con. I could only imagine going to some of these big comic cons and yeah, I've seen people pay, you know, 40, 50, 60 bucks. Sometimes artists pay, you know, celebrities charge a lot of money to have their, to get their autograph. I still like the box. I think it's cool. I'm just gonna add this to my signed pop collection. I don't know, I mean, I love this show, but I, I don't know if I'm actually going to keep this or not, so I might put this up for sale. Um, see what I can get for it. I mean, I might be able to get 40 bucks for that right there. Just because, like I said, you know, you'd have to pay that to have them sign it anyways. So between that, the belt, and the pen, I mean, might almost be able to pay for the box. And then I'll just keep the Gump and the Power Ranger. But anyways, that's the Zobi. 90s volume 2 mystery box i'm happy with it let me know what you think drop a comment below if you want to see videos like this in the future go ahead and hit that uh, bell notification notify you anytime i upload a video if you haven't subscribed yet then go ahead and that subscribe button i would really appreciate it i'm on my road to 100 subs so if you follow me on instagram and i'll put my instagram up there You'll see I almost post a photo or something every day, but I'm looking to get 100 subs by the end of summer. So I've got a couple months left. I think we're at 56 right now. So i got a little bit to go, um, but I appreciate everybody who subscribed. Appreciate everybody who's watching these videos. All right, guys. Well, I hope you're staying safe, stay healthy, and I will catch you on the next one. I'm out. Bye.